the post game comment quote i wish i wasn't out there for the seventh to be honest actually we have it right so let's run it i didn't execute he had a good pitch um i wish i wasn't out there for the seventh to be honest so i was at 90 pitches and i didn't i didn't think i needed to go anymore but you know it is what it is so is that a conversation in the dugout or is it It'll be a conversation soon. Yeah. He said after the next day, obviously I screwed up. That's not me. Skip's always going to pry that ball out of my hands. Just super uncharacteristic of me as a player and who I am on that mound. I love competing. <laughs> I, I, I don't – listen, he said it. And to me, that's what you feel. First thing that comes out of your mind to me is that's how you feel. That's what you really felt like. Um Kratzy, I know you're going to agree with me in this. You don't say this in the media. This is something you go to a coach and you explain to him, hey, man, behind closed doors. You don't go to a media and feel like you need other people to feel bad for you or this is why this happened. No. you go If, if you're upset about the whole situation, you go behind closed doors, hey, Skip, I shouldn't have been out there. Well, you shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't even have this conversation to begin with. You know, that's the old school in me. You're out there. You want to pitch as much as you can. If you have an arm problem, Okay. My arm's barking. I'm done. Do that. But don't don't go on the media binge here and and make, you know, you're going to get reactions from both sides. And for me, it's tough to hear. Uh, I mean, as a player, I'd be like, yo, hey, man, really? Like, come on, dude. Are, are you hurt? Are you injured? Are you, you know, was your mind not right? Why didn't you say something beforehand? You know, all those types of things, Kratzy. And it's, it's, it's tough to hear. But this analytical world, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is, but there's there's something behind 103 pitches. To me, it's a lot, but it's really not that much. Well, again, like you got to kind of ask the guy, and I couldn't ask the guy, but I asked some of his teammates afterwards. Like, is this really this dude? Because I like, I love him. I mean, yeah. you and I, Scotty, you and I talk about it all the time. This guy has some ridiculous ability. He's got the ability to learn new pitches and put them right in the game, learn that sinker this year. I had him as a gamer. So I asked these guys that play with him every single day. And to me, that's where you need to follow up. Yeah, everybody wants his sound bites, but his sound bites the next day are going to be, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that, I've already apologized, blah, blah, blah. Asked his teammates. Every one of the teammates that I asked, to a man, they all said, this dude is a stud. He is our 1B on this team. Castillo is 1A. He is our 1B. They've never heard him talk like this. So then my 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 view of this is, okay, let's go back and look at his last few games. His last four starts, he's given up four runs, eight hits, three runs, eight hits, four runs, six hits, and then this past game, four runs, five hits. Okay, so he's been – He's been giving up a few runs. One of them was unearned, but it's LLL. Maybe just gone through a tough stretch here. Yeah. You know, not, not every superstar has been through it. He's been through it a little bit, and they got him right after the game. They lost another one. The Mariners, I think, are two of their last two of their last eight at that point. You know, they ended up losing again over this weekend. But you're 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 in the emotions. And his teammates say. Because I'm not, I'm not asking these dudes. I'm asking these guys as my friends, what is this dude like? And his teammates say he is a stud, and he wants the ball every time. They had no idea where this came from. No idea. I, and I think you make a good point, too, as well. Maybe frustration about how he's been, how he's been pitching. <clears throat> That's fair. But at the same time, you know, you got to be mature enough to, to – Talk to a guy behind. You don't, you know, just don't take it to the media. That's the only problem I, I had with the situation. But you know, the problem I have with that is now he's never going to say anything again. You know, I'm, we're going to interview <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah. And, and, and they're going to talk how, to him. How do you post. feel? Good. I'm good. Yeah. Everything's good. good. Just, you know, trying to win games. Can't wait to pitch in five days. That sucks because yeah. he's young. He's yeah. really good. I've interviewed him before. Yeah. He's well spoken. He's 25 years old. He's an all star. And now you just took his voice away. Yeah. Because then you have former players just piling on like this is the analytics world ready so i'll give you a few so jared we, we, this is why i'll never 
um, be any kind of coach in the big leagues, to be honest. I shouldn't have been out there, question mark, through 90 pitches, question mark. What the beep? Embarrassing, truly embarrassing. Uh, Brandon McCarthy said, don't know all, all the details here, but this is really weird. I get the feeling if you're out of gas, but can't imagine like ever said, verbalizing yep. this publicly. Our guy, Doug McCavich, who we've had on Legends Territory, said, you have three weeks left in a playoff race and you want out after 90? Sadly, this is how most minor league systems are, quote, developing starters these days. And, and Roger Clemens, this is tough to hear, would not fly in the old days. Unfortunately, this is how players are being taught with modern analytics. What are y'all thoughts? Kratzy, and you, you've been in it before. When the manager comes to the mound, you hate to hear it, but everybody comes in, you're there, and the coach says, hey, man, you got another one? And the guy's like, no, I'm good. Like, I'm, I know you've heard that before from a pitcher, and at the same time, you're out there like, ah, you know, man, I wish you would have gave it one more. But at the same time, there's guys out there like that. I'm not saying he is, but we've been in those situations before where pitchers are like, no, no, I'm good. I'm, you know, I'm good. Bring somebody else in. So for me, they need to have a conversation and make sure they're on the same page moving forward. In the moment, I'm never like, if some dude's like, yeah, I'm good. I'm like, fine. Like, we got somebody loose in the pen. I'm good yeah. with that. But what happens then is afterwards, you sit there and you're like, Wait, you you were yeah. good? Like, <laughs> not not saying they bailed on us. Like, there, but, there's yeah. there's a fine line. If you're a young guy and you say that, it's like, mm, mm -mm. Uh, I kind of need you to be out here. Like, yeah. let's make mistakes. But on the flip side, I've had more managers come out and ask me, "Hey, you know, coming to dugout, hey, True. what do you think?" True. And it's hard. It is hard <clears> for me to say a dude doesn't have it. But you want the best for your team. If you tell the guy, hey, he doesn't have it, and they don't trust you, and then he gives it up, you know, then then it's it's out of my hands. But if you say the guy's got it and he gives it up, I'm willing to put myself out there. So it's one of those things that as a pitcher, you have to be willing to stand by whatever it is that you say. But you want that ball. Like, you want the ball. I have a hard time believing he doesn't want the ball. And some of these old school guys – yeah, I get it. I get what you're saying, but don't pile on in this in this instance. Now he does it again. You know, now let's let's. I'm fine with piling on because now now this is what this guy does. But maybe, maybe extend the dude a little bit of grace. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And, I, and I'll just say he's not going to say anything anymore. I mean, he's not. He's just not. At least not for a while. No. It's just you get <clears throat> you get shook from that. So, and listen, so. we all we all make mistakes. Is this the biggest mistake in the world? No. He made he made he made a mistake. He's going to go eight in a playoff game. You watch, and yeah. he's going to go shut the fuck up. You know, he's going to go like this. He's going to go eight and eight. He's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to go like this. Crap. Good night. Oh I'm no, tired. I'm not tired. Yeah, I like it. I hope he plays up to it. That'd be fun.